for the EFD group. Mr. Bloom, two minutes. Uh, well, um, I'm a baby boomer. I was born just after the war. Uh, we've had probably, we've probably uh, had the longest period of peace and prosperity uh, globally, uh, I would say, uh, from that time. I've put a little bit of modest money away so I can hand something down to my family when I pass on, largely because I've never spent more money than I've earned, and I've been prudent, and I've worked moderately hard. Now, it always seems to me as a complete surprise to politicians how countries get in debt. Let me explain, because I don't think you really understand it. It's because politicians consistently spend more money than they raise in taxation, more money than they can possibly raise in taxation, most of which, in point of fact, they actually waste. The reason we're talking about countries which are broke, and they are broke, is because they're ridiculous, ineffective, ignorant politicians consistently spend more money than they can raise, and then they borrow, and they borrow, and worse, they then print money because politicians and their central banks have a machine which prints money. You do that as a private citizen and it's a criminal offence. You would go to prison for doing that and politicians and their central banks do it all the time. Let me explain to you that these countries are broke and they're broke because of their own stupid leadership and politicians and it's immoral, immoral to ask ordinary taxpayers of any country to pick up the tab for failed politicians and failed banks. They are defaulted, they're broke. For God's sake, let's all of us admit it. Uh, Bloom, black card. Mr. Bloom, yes, well, thank you very much. And Mr. Goebbels is brandishing his record. You accept the question? Mr. Goebbels, 30 seconds. President, I'd like to know if Mr. Bloom knows that Spain is less in debt than the UK, that Ireland was under 60% before the banking crisis, and that Ireland, in going to debt to save its banks, saved the money of the British banks. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I wasn't suggesting my politicians were any less stupid than anybody else. It's an absolute disgrace. And it wasn't even debated in our national parliament to actually rescue these bus banks. If you want to invest in bus banks, do so with your own money, not money from my old age pensioners in Yorkshire on 98 quid a week, you scoundrels. Uh,